Are you sick of battling green water every summer? Does it feel like adding chemicals and shocking your pool just isn't enough to stop the algae from coming back? Hi, I'm Matt from Swim University, and if you're constantly dealing with algae, no matter what you try, it might be time to get more help. Extra algae prevention with minerals, ionizers, and algaecides helps stop algae before it starts. So let's go through each of these algae fighting options and how they work. But first, when should you get extra help fighting algae? Keeping your water chemistry balanced and your chlorine levels in the right range is your best defense against algae, but chlorine can get used up quickly as the weather heats up and more people use the pool. Algae thrives when the water temperature is between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And if the chlorine level drops after sanitizing the water with those extra swimmers, then there's not enough to kill growing algae spores. And if you already have green water, shocking is the best way to kill off existing algae. In fact, if you haven't already, check out our other video on how to get rid of algae in 24 hours. But if it keeps coming back, adding a supplemental algae prevention method can give you that extra layer of protection when your chlorine might be struggling. Now keep in mind, with any of these supplemental options, you still need to balance your water chemistry like your alkalinity and pH, and you still need chlorine in the pool. These are supplements to your regular sanitizer, not replacements. However, mineral systems and ionizers can cut your chlorine usage by more than half. So here's option one, mineral systems. Mineral systems use elements like copper and silver to kill bacteria and algae. And I know it's confusing, but silver and copper are considered metallic minerals, so they technically are minerals. Now, copper is a natural algicide, and silver is an antibacterial. Some mineral dispensers also use zinc, which has antibacterial properties, or limestone, which helps maintain neutral pH levels in the water. Now, as the water passes through the mineral dispenser, the minerals dissolve and circulate through your filtration system and the pool itself. Because these minerals linger in the water, a stable residual amount remains in the pool and continues to kill algae and bacteria even when the pump isn't running. There are three common types of mineral systems. Number one is basket mineral dispensers. These sit right in your skimmer basket or your pump basket. And as water flows through your skimmer or your pump, minerals are released into the water, circulating through the filter and then back into your pool. Number two is floating dispensers. Now these float around your pool, dispensing minerals as they go. They often contain both mineral and chlorine cartridges. Number three is inline mineral cartridges. These connect directly to your plumbing and some of them come with a combined chlorinator or salt system. Mineral systems are a passive, natural way to kill algae, but they do have some downsides, so here are the pros and cons. You'll reduce chlorine usage. Instead of using three parts per million of chlorine, you only need about 0.5 parts per million. You'll have less issues with high CYA. Since you'll be using less chlorine, you'll need less cyanuric acid in your water. They're easy to use. Many systems drop in your skimmer basket and float in your pool. They work on most pools. Minerals are compatible with saltwater pools and most other pools. However, it still requires some chlorine. Your pool water still needs some chlorine and you'll need to keep your other levels in range like pH. There's a potential for staining if you have copper levels that are already high. This can be avoided by using a metal sequestrant or a stain and scale preventer. It binds the metals in the solution and prevents them from settling on your pool surfaces. It doesn't cure algae immediately. It takes some time to build up the minerals in your water, so during the initial startup, you might need to increase your chlorine temporarily. Finally, there's the ongoing replacement parts and cost. You'll need to replace your mineral cartridge every four to six months. If you like the product and you notice a difference in your water, then there's an ongoing cost to use it. Option number two is pool ionizers. Now, like mineral systems, ionizers release mineral ions like copper, silver, and zinc into your water, but they use electricity or solar power instead of a cartridge. Ionizers send a low voltage electric current through copper or silver plates to release these metal ions into the water. Those positively charged ions attach to microorganisms like algae and bacteria, disrupting their cell walls and killing the cells. Now there are two main types of ionizers. Number one is floating solar ionizers. Solar ionizers are floating devices powered by the sun. Most contain a mineral core, usually copper, sometimes with silver, and use solar power to release those ions into the water. You just place them in your pool with direct sunlight. Now these are less expensive and easier to install than electric systems, but they're also less powerful and may not be as effective in larger pools or areas with limited sunlight. You also have to clean them regularly or they won't function properly. 
Now, number two is electric inline ionizers. Electric ionizers are installed directly into your pool's plumbing system, typically after your filter, but before the water returns to your pool. They have electrodes usually made of copper and silver and release these ions when the electric current passes through them. Now, these systems provide much more consistent and precise dosing and don't require direct sunlight to work, and you can treat larger pools. Both floating and inline ionizers need their cells or anodes replaced regularly. Adding an ionizer to your pool offers several advantages. It'll reduce your need for chlorine. Like mineral dispensers, you can cut your chlorine usage by more than half. It's gentler on your skin and on your eyes because you're using less chlorine and you'll notice less irritation, dryness, and red eyes. It can actually extend the life of your equipment. Fewer harsh chemicals means less wear and tear on your pool components and you'll get consistent algae prevention. Mineral ions linger in the water and don't evaporate like chlorine. And because you have the residual amount in your pool, it also keeps working even when the pump isn't running. However, there are some downsides. You still need chlorine. Pool ionizers do not replace all the chemicals in your pool, and you'll need to keep other levels like your pH and calcium harness in range as well. You also have to clean your floating ionizer. Floating ionizers need regular cleaning by hand to keep working properly and there's potential for staining. If copper levels get too high, you can get stains, but you can avoid this by testing regularly for copper and using a sequestering agent like a metal remover if you need it. It's not immediate. Ionizers take time to build up to adequate mineral levels in the water, so you might need to increase your chlorine temporarily during the initial startup phase or when you have heavy usage. Finally, there's the ongoing replacement parts and costs. Ionizers initially cost more than mineral dispensers or algicide, but they last much longer and the inline systems are more powerful. Now, depending on what type of ionizer you have, the cells or anodes will last up to a year and then need replacing. If you've been struggling with algae and an ionizer sounds intriguing, well, check out our video sponsor, Clear Blue Ionizer. Their inline ionizer, the Mineral Lion, provides hands-free continuous protection against algae. It's installed directly in line with your existing filtration system and only takes 30 minutes to install. Mineral Lion uses a proprietary blend of copper and zinc to eliminate algae before it develops, keeping your water sparkling clear, while cutting your chlorine usage by more than half. Now, because it's installed directly into your plumbing, nothing is floating in the water, you don't have to clean anything, and you can precisely control the amount of minerals released into your pool. The waterproof digital controller mounts anywhere and regulates mineral dispensing in all conditions, even screened in pools or pools without sun. It also works for in-ground, above-ground, and saltwater pools. And if you're not sure if it's a right fit for you, Mineral Line has a 90-day money-back guarantee and a two-year warranty if you register your ionizer. So there's really no risk. And if you want to try Mineral Line today, the first 50 people will save $50 on their purchase by using the links below and the code SWIMU50. That's just for the first 50 people, so use the code SWIMU50 and save $50 today and stop algae for good. Option number three is algicide. Now, algicide is both a preventative measure and a treatment for very early stage algae. Now, while shocking your pool is the best way to kill a full algae bloom, algicide can prevent algae from taking hold in the first place. And there are three common types of algicides. Quat algicides. Now, these are algicides that disrupt the cell membrane of the algae, weakening the algae until the cell dies. These are the least expensive option and work best with green algae, but they also tend to cause foam. Polyquat algicides. Polymer algicides work faster across all algae types and last longer in the water than quat algicides. They also don't stain or foam. You wanna look for 60% polyquat algicide for the best results. And finally is copper-based algicides. Now these powerful algicides are particularly effective against yellow or black algae. However, because of the copper, they can also stain your pool surfaces or turn your hair green. Now, if you don't mind adding chemicals to the water or you just need like a one-off treatment, algicides might be a better option than minerals or ionizers. Algicides work quickly. Unlike mineral dispensers or ionizers, algicides work almost immediately. They're affordable. Using an algicide is less expensive than buying a mineral system or ionizers, but you'll have to keep buying it over and over. It's easy to use. There's no installation, there's no equipment but there are downsides. Some of these cause foaming. Cheaper quad algicides create foam in your pool. Some can stain. Copper-based algicides can cause green staining. And you'll have to add it regularly. Algicide needs to be added weekly or bi-weekly to the water. It's affected by shock. Shock can neutralize algicide, so always add algicide after shocking, not before. 
And like the other options, algicide works best in balanced pool water. If the chlorine gets too high, it'll destroy the algicide. And don't overdo it because more isn't better with algicide. Only use the recommended amount when you're dosing. But you'll want to add it more often, like every week or every other week, especially during a hot summer or after heavy pool use. And remember, the best way to prevent algae is good pool maintenance, balanced water chemistry, regular shocking, and running your filter. But if you want more help in the long run, these options can be great preventatives. And if you're dealing with an existing algae bloom, be sure to check out our other video called How to Get Rid of Pool Algae for a step-by-step -step guide on eliminating it. And if you want more help with ongoing maintenance and easy weekly care, check out the Pool Care Handbook at swimu.com book. That's it. Thanks for watching and happy swimming.